In this module, I'm going to go over customizing bullets within PowerPoint presentations. Within PowerPoint, not only can you change the color and style of your bullets, you can also change the style by using available symbols and creating custom bullets using pictures. By using custom bullets, you can enhance, personalize, and emphasize bulleted lists within your PowerPoint presentations. I'll start by showing you how to change the color and the size of the bullets within a bulleted list. So I'm going to switch over to a bullet list example to work with. Now the first thing to think about when you're customizing your bullet list is, do you want to have the whole list customized or specific bullet items within it? If you've already got the list typed out and you want the whole list customized, what you need to do is select the whole list and then we'll make the changes to it. If there's a specific item in the list you want customized, click within it and make your customizations. Also, if you're just starting your list and you want your customization to go forward as you add to the list, do your first item, click within it, make your selections, and then as you enter the rest of your bulleted items, it will pull up the customization as well. So for this example, I'm going to do it to the whole list. So I'm going to highlight everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the color and the size of the bullets first. So in order to change the color and the size of the bullets, we need to go to the bulleted list. To do that, you want to go to the Home tab, come over to the Paragraph group, and click on the down arrow next to Bullets. Once you click on the down arrow, it's going to bring the drop down for the bulleted list. From here, we're going to go to the bottom and click Bullets and Numbering. Once we click Bullets and Numbering, it's going to open up the Bullets and Numbering dialog box. And we've got the bulleted tab highlighted. From here, we could change to a different style if we wanted to do that, but what we want to do is come down and change the size and the color. Now, when changing the size, it's going to be a percentage, and the percentage used is in relation to the size of the text. So if we change the number to 100%, it's going to be 100% the size of the text, or it'll match the size of the text. So if we want our bullets to be smaller, let's say 50%, we would type in the number here. If we want to see what it looks like, let's just click OK, and you can see it makes the bulleted items smaller. Now let's go back in and change the color of the bulleted items. So again, remember, Home, come to the Paragraph group, and click on the down arrow for bullets. We'll go back into Bullets and Numbering, and we'll come down to Color. Now when we click the drop-down arrow, it's going to bring up the list of colors available. We can pick from colored themes, do a standard color, or actually, if we wanted to, create our own color from here as well. We're going to come in and we're going to choose a dark brown. So we'll say OK. And now you can see our bulleted items are the 50% size and they're a dark brown. So that's how you change the color and size of the bullet items. Now if we wanted to come in and change the symbol of the bullet, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and change our symbol. First, let's make sure we've got our list highlighted. And again, we'll go to Home tab, Paragraph group, and click on the down arrow for bullets. From here, we're going to the bullets and numbering. And this time, we're going to click Customize. Once we do that, it's going to bring up a list of symbols. Now we can come in and we can change it to a different font if we wanted to, to select a symbol from any of these fonts available. We'll stick with our Wingdings 3. If we want to use this font, we'll click on it, say OK. And you can see it's added it now to our list of bullets available. So when we click OK, it's going to update it on our list. So if we wanted to come back and change the size to make it bigger, Home, Paragraph Group, Down Arrow, Bullets and Numbering, and let's change the size to 90%. And say OK. And there we go. So that's how you change the bullet to a different symbol. Okay, now the last thing I want to show you is how to change the bulleted item to a picture. There are times when you're doing bulleted lists within um, your PowerPoint presentations where you may want to enhance or emphasize the um, bulleted items. And a great way to do this is with using pictures. So for this example, I'm going to do it to the whole list, so I've still got everything highlighted. Remember, we'll come to the Home tab, Paragraph group, and click on the down arrow next to the bullets. From here, we're going to come down to Bullets and Numbering, and we're going to click on Picture. Once you click on Picture, it's going to open up the Insert Pictures dialog box. And from here, we can choose a picture from a file, um, whether it's on our computer or your local network. 
We could also do a Bing search for an image from the web, or we could pick a picture or an item from our OneDrive. I've got a picture on my computer that I want to use, so I'm going to do a Browse from a File. When you do this, it's going to bring up the Insert Picture dialog box for you to navigate to wherever the picture is located. Here's the picture I want to use, so I'm going to click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to add it to the file name area. Once you have it here, click the Insert button. And what it's going to do then is insert it directly into your bulleted list. So you can see I've added a little icon that looks like the Outlook icon. So it emphasizes the list that you know these are Outlook topics that I'm talking about. As an overview, remember there are a lot of things that you can do with bulleted items within your PowerPoint presentation. You can change the icons for individual bullets or you can change it for the whole list. You can change the size of it, home, paragraph group, drop down arrow, bullets and numbering, change our size. We can change the color if we weren't using a picture that we had added. We can come over here to click to search for a picture. We can do customize and pick a different symbol or a symbol that we would like to use instead. We'll say OK, and now we've changed it to that symbol. So you don't have to use just the items that are available on the list that they have. Remember, there's many ways that you can change it on your own.